Hello farmers welcome to episode 1 of the series on factors affecting egg production in the egg laying poultry business. The laying cycle of a chicken flock usually covers a span of about 12 months. Egg production begins when the birds reach about 18 to 22 weeks of age, depending on the breed and season. Flock production rises sharply and reaches a peak of about 90%, 6 to 8 weeks later. Production then gradually declines to about 65% after 12 months of lay. There are many factors that can adversely affect egg production. Unraveling the cause of a sudden drop in egg production requires a thorough investigation into the history of the flock. Egg production can be affected by such factors as feed consumption, quality and quantity, water intake, intensity and duration of light received, parasite infestation, disease, and numerous management and environmental factors. Non-infectious causes. Aging hens. Chickens can live for many years and continue to lay eggs for many of these years. However after two or three years many hens significantly decline in productivity. This varies greatly from bird to bird. Good layers will lay for about 50 to 60 weeks and then have a rest period called a molt. Poorer layers and older hens will molt more often and lay less consistently. Improper nutrition. Laying chickens require a completely balanced diet to sustain maximum egg production over time. Inadequate nutrition can cause hens to stop laying. Inadequate levels of energy, protein, or calcium can cause a drop in egg production. This is why it is so important to supply laying hens with a constant supply of nutritionally balanced layer food. Feeding whole grains, scratch feeds and table scraps will cause the bird's diet to become imbalanced and inadequate. Many times these imbalances can cause other problems like oviductal prolapse. Prolapse may occur when the bird is too fat and slash or an egg is too large and the bird's reproductive tract is expelled with the egg. Prolapse usually causes permanent damage to the hen and is fatal in many cases. Omission of feed ingredients. Salt. Animals have an innate desire to consume salt. Feeding a salt deficient diet will lead to increased feather pecking and a decline in egg production. Most animal feeds will contain added salt, usually in the form of sodium chloride. Iodine is rarely added as a separate ingredient. Instead, iodized salt is routinely used. Cobalt iodized salt is often used in diets for swine and ruminants, and this can also be used without any problems for poultry. This type of salt is usually blue. Sodium is an essential nutrient, playing a major role in maintaining body fluid volume, blood pH, and proper osmotic relationships. A continuously low intake of salt can cause a loss of appetite. Sodium deficiencies adversely affect utilization of dietary protein and energy and interfere with reproductive performance. Chlorine is also an essential nutrient. Hydrogen chloride, HCl, released from the true stomach, proventriculus, is important in digestion. Chlorine also plays a role in maintaining osmotic balance in body fluids. Birds deficient in chlorine are more nervous, showing increased sensitivity to sudden noise. Calcium. The eggshell is composed primarily of calcium carbonate. The pullet's requirement for calcium is relatively low during the growing period, but when the first eggs are produced, the need is increased at least four times, with practically all of the increase being used for the production of eggshells. Inadequate calcium consumption will result in decreased egg production and lower eggshell quality. Hence store calcium in medullary bone, a specialized bone capable of rapid calcium turnover. As calcium stores are depleted, bones become brittle. In severe cases, hens are unable to stand. The condition is known as caged layer fatigue. Birds on the ground or on litter floors recycle calcium and phosphorus through consumption of feces, and do not have caged layer fatigue. 
Calcium can be supplied in the diet as either ground limestone or oyster shell. Particle size affects calcium availability. Usually the larger the particle size, the longer the particle will be retained in the upper digestive tract. This means that the larger particles of the calcium source are released more slowly, and this may be important for the continuity of shell formation, especially in the dark period when birds do not ordinarily eat. Periodically, dolomitic limestone is offered to the feed industry. However, dolomitic limestone, which is used in the steel industry, should never be used in poultry diets. Dolomitic limestone contains at least 10% magnesium, and this complexes with calcium or competes with calcium for absorption sites in the intestines. The consequence of feeding dolomitic limestone is induced calcium deficiency. Young birds should not be fed a high calcium layer diet because the calcium slash phosphorus ratio will be unbalanced, resulting in increased morbidity or mortality. Vitamin D Vitamin D is required for normal calcium absorption and utilization. If inadequate levels of vitamin D are fed, induced calcium deficiency quickly results and egg production decreases. Feed grade vitamin D comes in two forms, D2 and D3. In most animals, both are equally potent. In birds, however, D3 is substantially more active than D2. In poultry diets, therefore, vitamin D must be supplied in the form of D3. Protein Dietary requirements for protein are actually requirements for the amino acids that constitute the protein. There are 22 amino acids in body proteins, and all are physiologically essential. Poultry cannot synthesize some of these, or cannot synthesize them rapidly enough to meet the metabolic requirement. Therefore, these amino acids must be supplied in the diet. Amino acid requirements vary considerably according to the productive state, i.e., growing, laying eggs, etc., age, type, breed, and strain. Methionine is the amino acid most often deficient in laying rations. When pullets begin laying, there is an increase in protein, vitamin, and mineral requirements per day due to deposition in the egg. If dietary protein is too low or the amino acid requirements are not met, poor egg production and hatchability will occur. Fat Dietary fat is a source of energy and of linoleic acid, an essential fatty acid. A deficiency of linoleic acid will adversely affect egg production. Dietary fats also serve as carriers of fat-soluble vitamins, and some fat is necessary for absorption of vitamins. In fact, impairment of the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins, A, D, E, and K, is the most serious consequence of a dietary deficiency of fat. That's all that we have for you today, see you again on episode 2 as we discuss other factors. That's all that we have for you today, for more future videos kindly click the subscribe button. You can also click the links on the description below to visit our website and to watch other farming videos. Thank you for watching.